this is obviously not just the government of Iran that denies involvement, but you know, Anthony Blinken um, also is saying that there is no evidence that Iran was involved in this particular attack, which was, yes, a stunning and coordinated attack and incredibly terrifying. Yes. But even just mentioning the occupation at a time like this will get other Democrats in trouble, not the president, but Demo progressive Democrats who dare mention occupation, dare mention the word apartheid, which actually is a word that Amnesty International has used, that even former um, Israeli uh, officials have used, that they have an effective apartheid over the Palestinian people, especially in the West Bank. That gets you in trouble from other Democrats. Um, so this was Representative Rashida Tlaib, um, who herself is Palestinian, um, but also who had this statement. She says, I grieve the Palestinian and Israeli lives lost yesterday, today and every day. I am determined as ever to fight for a just future where everyone can live in peace without fear and with true freedom, equal rights and human dignity. The path to that future must include lifting the blockade. She means the blockade of Gaza, uh, ending the occupation in the West Bank and dismantling the apartheid system that creates the suffocating dehumanizing conditions that can lead to resistance. The failure to recognize the violent reality of living under siege occupation and apartheid makes no one safer. No person, no child anywhere should have to suffer or live in fear of violence. We cannot ignore the humanity in each other. As long as our country provides billions in unconditional funding to support the apartheid government, this heartbreaking cycle of violence will continue. So she's talking about US aid, she's talking about apartheid, she's talking about the right to live with dignity and in peace. And she's looking at that root cause that so many of us are talking about. Um, and yet, Senator, that gets you in trouble with representatives like Richie Torres, who wrote this in response, US aid to Israel is and should be unconditional. And never more so than in this moment of critical need, Congress must act decisively to provide Israel with whatever it needs to defend itself in the face of unprecedented terrorism. Shame on anyone who glorifies this as resistance, the largest single day mass murder of Jews since the Holocaust is reprehensible and repulsive. So that is a line again, Look, that is that, it, and it is not clear whether this is the largest uh, single, you know, murder of Jews since um, the Holocaust. I want to remind people that this is also Israelis, right? That this is about a a nation that has aggressed historically on another people. This is not about religion, right? And I'm not. This is no. This is no justification. This is understanding. We have to de-religify this conflict if we are to see our way out of it. Richie Torres throwing us right back in and basically saying that if you criticize the occupation, if you criticize the endless amount of money that we give to Israel that's raining terror down right now on Palestinians, then that makes you anti-Semitic. And I want everyone to please try and with your friends, family, with your folks, let's de-link that. And, and progressive Jews are at the forefront of this movement. So I look to them personally, but Senator, your final yeah. thoughts. I mean, I mean, Medea Benjamin of Cold Pink has weighed in heavily on this Francesca in a very strong way, not even flinching in her critique. Uh, I think our major point for I, I like how you're asking the viewers and the people who may be listening to us today to, to go to go deeper. But ultimately, ultimately, the position of the United States has been that the American people should know what is being done in their name at all times. It, it, it's not like what Representative uh, put out there in her statement is some anomaly. That is how it should be, period. Mm -hmm. And I just, I mean, you and I were, well, anyway, this <laughs> is a harrowing situation because it's just, we, we would need the whole show and then some to really, you know, go back in time, give a history lesson. You know, one of my dear friends sent me a map of what that area looked like, you know, almost 50 years ago compared to what it looks like now in terms of yeah. Israel, you know, is Israel and Palestine. And so this is the ultimate point. This is it ultimately. Those of us who care about humanity, let me put it in this lens, just humanity. If we're ever going to find that lasting peace or at least get on a pathway to peace in the Middle East, it is going to have to be undergirded with justice and security for both Israelis and Palestinians. There is no way for one side to have it and the other side not to have it, or we're gonna constantly find ourselves right back in situations like this.
For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.